A few months ago, I made a video that explained the process on how to get video from um, a Sony RX100 camera to an iPad. I'm actually using the Sony RX100 Mark V. Lots of people have recently commented on my previous video to say that it doesn't work anymore. So I thought I should give it another go. We'll try this test and see how well it works. So the very first thing I need to do is, um, I have some video on this. I created a video a short time ago um, on it. And um, we will go into tools and option four. Now, you'll notice that my USB connection is set at MTP. I'm hoping you can see this because I'm, I'm having to record this video on my iPhone. And then the other one is USB power supply. Make sure that's turned off as well. Okay, so that's how that's set up. And then I need to get my um, my cables. First of all, I have my micro USB cable. And then I also have this here, which is just a USB 2 to lightning. So I'll plug that in. And I'm hoping now if I plug this into the iPad, iPad will come alive and um, see my video. Goes into USB mode. iPad comes up and sees my video. I pick the one I want. It's the only one there is. I press import. There it goes. And it's importing my video. The wee wheel's going around. You can probably just about see that. And this video was a little bit too long. I think it's about a minute long. It's gonna just take a while. Okay, it is now completed. Let's disconnect this. And we will play the video. Okay, this is a little bit of test video that... Uh... There we go, that worked. And you can see there's plenty of it. Um, and it it's all there. So it worked really well. Okay, well, if you've made it this far, you'll have noticed that um, the import process actually worked and there were no actual problems. So um, I can't quite understand why folk are having problems, um, but I'm keen to hear comments and thoughts. So uh, if you have anything like that, let me know. Um, put them in the comments and um, thanks for watching.